You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV Product Reviews. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, this week we're going to be looking at Adobe Photoshop Elements 10. Now, I've been using Photoshop, it's big brother, for years. And the last time I actually looked at Elements was years ago. And so when I looked at this new version, Elements 10, I was astonished at how amazing it was and how powerful it was because it looks not like a... Uh, horrible knockoff of Photoshop, but actually something that is much more closely related to what Photoshop actually does. So you can do all kinds of really powerful image editing with Elements 10. Now, uh, one of the things I noticed, we'll just go quickly through some of the things that are in the box here, and then we're going to take a closer look at some of the features of Elements 10. Now, included in the box, this box comes with all kinds of stuff. There is an Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 3 trial, so that's included in the box. There is this horrible instruction manual. Now, one of the things I have to say is if you don't know anything about Photoshop, this instruction manual is going to get you nowhere. It is horrible. And so, uh, luckily, there is a lot of training online that will teach you all about Photoshop elements and wouldn't you know it there are all kinds of little things that are thrown in here that you can actually go to and learn Photoshop elements uh, in uh, online and get some tutorials there's all kinds of books there's all kinds of things in here and so unfortunately the uh, instructions the printed instructions for Photoshop elements I have to say I give it a complete F that are included in this uh, box but I will tell you this, you don't really need it because Adobe Photoshop Elements actually has guided tours to walk you through retouching photos. And so all of that help in the instruction is actually built into Elements, and I think that's why they did it. It's still a little bit of a steep learning curve, but uh, you'll get there pretty quickly. So let's uh, go right into Elements 10, and I can walk you through some of the features and show you how you can learn to get up and running very, very quickly. When you first open Photoshop Elements 10, you get this screen right here that lets you choose one of two options. You can either organize or edit images. Now, one of the things you can do here is you can look at all the different helpful information they have. They, there's a help page, there's a getting started page, there's community help, there's tips and, uh, tips and tricks, as well as Adobe TV, which allows you to see all kinds of things live. Um, not live, but pre-recorded videos, and there are forums, and there's even a Facebook page. There's all kinds of stuff here. Now, that's the reason why there isn't a lot of documentation in the box, because there is so much documentation and help that's built it right into the application and on forums. Now, if you don't want this little screen to pop up, you can also go to settings, and you can just say only launch the organizer or only Photoshop Elements editor, and that way you don't have to go through this. But for now, we're going to start right here as uh, Adobe has set it up for us. Now, these two buttons work hand in hand. So the organize uh, button, if I click that, uh, what will happen is well, the Elements organizer will uh, appear. Now, this is a catalog of all the images that you've added to the catalog, not all of the images on your hard drive necessarily, but it allows you to do things like keywording and rating and setting some things um, as better photos than others, and you can tag faces and places and events and make custom tags and do all kinds of things, and so it makes it really easy to find photos and then take those photos and do things with them. So these are either showing up as thumbnail files, or you can double click that and that'll show up as a uh, large image there. The other thing you can do here that's really nice is there's this full screen button here. And if you click that, then everything just disappears and you get a huge full screen view of your image. And then you can do some things with that. So I'm going to hit escape and get back into my, my normal view here. Click this little button over here so I can get back to my thumbnails. I can make those thumbnails larger if I'd like by sliding this little slider here. And so that's sort of what this uh, Elements 10 organizer does. It does a lot more than that, but it's a place that you can take all of your photos and organize them and then look them up later. Now on the right hand side there are some tabs that are really interesting and we've got the organize tab which is where we are right now. There's also the fix tab. So right from the organizer you can go in here and you can do some things like uh, doing automatic color correction or levels, um, auto contrast, red eye reductions, you can crop and do all kinds of things right here. You can also create things. So when I click create, there's this list of things here. So photo prints and photo books and greeting cards and calendars and collages. Instant movie works if you have Premiere Elements installed. There's also this DVD with menu. Also, you have to have Premiere Elements installed, but you can do photo stamps and CD jackets, and there's a couple more things here that you can do as well. And once you get that stuff done, then you can go over here to the Share tab, and you can share these in online albums and email attachments. You can burn this to video if you have the uh, Premiere Elements installed. So this works hand-in-hand -hand with Premiere Elements. 
and it's very tightly integrated. But you also have things like Flickr and Facebook and SmugMug and YouTube that allow you to share this stuff out. So this is a place you can organize your files. You can do some really quick editing to them and then share them out with friends and family on a bunch of different places. But what I'd like to show you is something a little bit uh, different here, and that is the editor. So the editor is more uh, what we would look at if we were looking to compare this directly to Photoshop, which is the uh, Adobe Elements Big Brother. So what I want to do is there's a picture here that I have that we shot for the Orbis Ring Flash that's part of Adorama TV. And so what I want to do is click that. When I right click that, I have this little thing that says edit with Photoshop's Elements Editor. And when I click that, this pops right into Adobe Photoshop's Elements Editor. And this is sort of the heart and soul of Elements. And what this does is it looks a lot like uh, Photoshop, the big brother of Elements, Photoshop Elements. And it gives us all kinds of tools. And these tools, if you've ever seen Photoshop, might look familiar to you. We have selection tools. We have things to move uh, images around. We've got the zoom tool here so we can really zoom in and see if things are in focus or not. We can move things around there. We can uh, use a, a dropper here to choose colors and all kinds of things. We've got crop tools and selection tools and text tools and custom shape tools and red eye reduction tools, clone tools. There's all kinds of things here that we can use to do many, many things to our photos. Uh, on the right hand side, we have layers. So if you've ever worked with Photoshop or heard about Photoshop, a lot of times people talk about these layers. So we can actually do compositing and so we can create new layers. And on those layers, we can do things like painting. And so I'm gonna do something really horrible here. I'm gonna paint some purple over our model's face. And then we can move those two things independent of each other. So this top layer, I can actually move this stuff around. And the bottom layer, I can move that as well. I can turn the visibility on and off. I can delete things hitting a little trash down here. Do you want to delete this? Yes. So I can do some advanced editing on my images. I can do some uh, effects so I can click a button and make this a uh, cutout just by clicking on this little cutout button here. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, let's cut out. So I can click on that, say apply, and then it's going to go in there and make that into that image. I don't really like that. What do I do? Well, just like normal Photoshop, I can bring up my history uh, this is called undo history and then I can drag this out I can see all the things that I've done to this so you can see I opened it I created a new layer I used the brush tool I moved that around I deleted that I can always go back in time and you know make this exactly where I wanted it to go so that's really nice so I'm gonna go back here to this last step I, I had the other thing that's really nice these palettes you can dock them so I can move these around I can dock this underneath this guy right here. I can snap, I can make it part of that. I can put it up here. I can do all kinds of things with these docks. I can move my tools around. If I grab it, correct it, there we go. Move that around, I can turn things on and off. And one of the things that's very scary if you've ever used Photoshop Elements or Photoshop is sometimes it's easy to mess things up. So, oh no, where did my tools go? Well, there's a huge button right up here that's called Reset Panels that I love. You click that and everything is reset. It goes right back to the default uh, setup. So you can have that there. Um, so it's really nice. You can also turn things on and off here in this little Windows palette. So it's very, very nice. Now that's the edit. This is the full edit. So you can uh, do all of the advanced editing there. If you're not familiar with Photoshop Elements, well, you can do some other things. You can click on Quick Edit. So right underneath here, just Edit and then Quick. And then you can just choose one of these things you want to do really quick. So Smart Fix. I can just drag this slider and uh, Photoshop Elements will make some decisions for me about brightness and contrast and color. And the more I move this over, the more it does. The less I move it over, the less it does. So you can just really quickly tell it to fix it more or less. I don't like that. I'm going to say don't apply that. But you can change the lighting, the color, the balance, the sharpness. You can do that really, really easily. Now, what if you don't even want to do that? You really want to do something more specific like cropping, but you don't know uh, what tool to use. Well, there's this guided button here. And on the guided tab, you have all of these basic things that you can do to an image. So let's say we want to do some color and lighting adjustments. For example, we want to remove a color cast. Well, if I click that, this will walk me through how to do that. So I can click this little thing here and click and it'll say, oh, okay, you had too much green there and it'll take it out, which is really cool. So I can reset that. I can click this over here 
you know, and it'll walk you through how to do this correctly so you don't have any bad colors. But that looks pretty good, and so I can say done, and it's there, and I've done that. Um, I can do all kinds of things. I can correct skin tones and adjust levels, and there's many, many things you can do here, and it's guided. So once again, that's why there's not a lot of documentation. I'm going to go back here to the full edit and show you one really powerful thing, and that is the spot healing brush tool. And I will zoom in a little bit. I'm going to use this little magnifying glass. So on our model's face here, we have a few little tiny blemishes, and I want to get rid of those. Well, this uh, spot healing brush tool is very advanced. So now what we have is we have the ability to use content aware. And so we sort of, it will look around our uh, healing brush to know, oh, maybe there's an eyelash or a line or something that we need to preserve. It's very powerful. That's something that's brand new. Now I can go in here and I can just start painting out any of these blemishes and check that out. Really, very, very quickly, I'm able to remove those blemishes. I can move around using the hand tool and just start painting around. And really quickly, I'm able to change this image. I'll double click that and there it is I can do some things really really fast now the other thing on the bottom here there is a list of all the different things we have open right now we only have one image and so if I had five or six I could go down here and click between those really really uh, quickly so those are some of the uh, features in Adobe Photoshop Elements 10 now the truth is it could take us hours, hundreds of hours to go through every single feature. That's why there are so many videos dedicated to Adobe Photoshop Elements. So I highly suggest you check some of those out. Uh, go to the Adorama Learning Center and you'll see all kinds of articles about using Adobe Photoshop Elements 10 as well. Well, that's a high-level overview of Adobe Photoshop Elements 10, and you can see why it is such a powerful application. Now, this application I didn't mention earlier, it retails for $94.95, so it's very, very affordable. Now, if you are a person that wants to edit video as well, well, one of the things that's included is a trial to Adobe uh, Premiere Elements 10, and so it's a video editing application that works hand-in-hand -hand with Elements 10, Photoshop Elements 10, and so you can try that out, and if you like it, you can buy that as well. So lots of trial stuff. Stuff. And even though I said I didn't like the instruction manual that's printed out, you can see by the demo I did that the built-in instructions can really help you get up and running very, very quickly. So there you have it, Adobe Photoshop Elements 10. It's both for Windows and Mac, $94.95. Well, thank you so much for joining me this week. Remember, if you want to learn more about Adobe Photoshop Elements 10, specifically how to use it, well, just zip on over to the uh, Adorama Learning Center, where there are all kinds of articles and videos about photography and post-production and tips and tricks on things like Photoshop and Photoshop Elements 10. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.